Then she steps in the ring right now. Damn it, Idris. Where were you when I needed you? Salt Pappy and Anthony Taylor happened. <laughs> Soul Pappy said something. Oh, wow. We'll come back to it because Deji's just stepped into the ring with his coach, Daly. And they just they just ooze calmness. See, Daly just gave me a bad look right there because I, uh, I kind of called him out, didn't I? I know you did. <laughs> I know you did. I don't, and I'm like Leon as well. She. Let's talk about that for a moment. <laughs> we're, we're just playing, right? Yeah. <laughs> right? El Brooks back. Do we have a mic for El? We, we do. Oh, who's this at the moment? Swarm. So we have Deji and Swarms. Is that Deji? Stepping in. That's so Deji in there right now. See, so um, Daly's going to get some ropes. And Daly's looking Me. at Daly. pointing Me. at you, Idris. <laughs> <laughs> I love you first, and then I'll Martin after, and then I'll have Leon. <laughs> After. <laughs> you want Deji? Oh no, not Deji. Oh. Um, Daily. Oh, Daily. Oh, that'd be a good fight. Where controversy fight. goes, Idris Virgo is always seemingly there. Hi, right, listen. I just want to smoke. I want to fight. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, I think everyone's ducking you. <laughs> exactly. Especially Daily as well. As, as a coach, like, come on, man. Yeah. And Martin, you you Martin, you referenced is Martin Foru, of course, trains with Daily uh, and, and with. Uh, yeah, no clout, Martin. That that's what I call him. No clout, Martin. No clout at all. So he wants my clout. Because forget all that, you know what I mean? I'm the kingpin out here. Is that a fight we see further down the line? Martin Farrow just went nah, nah. I'm no, not fighting him as a pro. Would What's you ever rematch AT? Yes. A lower weight, 168, I'll fight ah. AT. Yeah, Who was heavier? Fight. You? We both were heavier, yeah. Oh, you were 175. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. Good you fight. look quite ripped for that fight. Oh, do I? Yeah, you did. Do you Especially reckon you could go lower than that? Yeah. I'll get it to middleweight. Oh, I don't move it. Yeah. <laughs> Let's speak about who we've got in the ring at the moment, Deji. There's, there's always been this question mark. Because, because of the losses that came earlier in his fight career, he seemingly put that right against Fousey. Some people still trying to bring that up and say, well, it was only Fousey. But now it's Swarms who, listen, is a man transformed. Yeah. yeah. Deji gets this win on Saturday. Just how big is it for him? The thing is, Deji has to get this win. You if think? he doesn't get this win, where does Deji go after that? Yeah. That's the question as well. I, st I still think there'll be a lot of people who want that fight, but he won't see it like that. You're right. Yeah. yeah. Do you work with Deji as well? No. You no. don't spy him? No, I don't spy no, him, no. no. You're in a different. But he has improved. He has improved. I'll give him that. The fight against Mayweather was a decent uh, cowboy. Like, it was quite decent. But yeah. fighting swarms, the pressure he's got is can you do cooking on his brother? Yeah. And that's the thing. Do you reckon he's always got that pressure with yeah. being KSI's brother? Like yeah. he's kind of, you know, the shadow of him. I know it's sharp. I noticed that there were a couple of cameras just facing the other way, which doesn't usually happen when Deji's in the ring. Okay. I wanted to see what they were looking at and they were looking at Swarms. Who look at that look at that focus. He's yeah. not breaking it. He's although he did. <laughs> then he saw us. Yeah. But it wasn't broken until he saw us pointing at him. Oh. Is he studying every little movement, do you think? And he had such a good fight last time. You know, you want to keep up that momentum. This wasn't it with a jab, and then Ryan like, yeah. Taylor was like, no, 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 no. no. I don't know. Don't want to be jabbed by him. Yeah, I don't know. no more, no more. <laughs> so that shows that Swarms has got the power. But can Deji take the power from Swarms? Yeah. What's Deji got to do to beat Swarms? Box. It's got to be box. Don't make a scrappy encounter, and then you'll beat Swarms. He's got the experience on Swarms. Yeah. He's got yeah. the, you know, he's he's been under that pressure more times. And I'm not talking about the pressure of someone coming towards you, because we, we all do that in the gym. I mean, with the huge crowd and the cameras yeah. and the lights and everything else. Yeah. Is it that that he's got a channel, do you think? I mean, El, most recently you were back out there. What's it like, all the cameras are on you, you can't, you go, how do you shut it all out? Are you yeah. even aware when the bombs are flying and you're being punched and you're throwing back? Are you yeah. aware that lights are there, people are cheering, can you hear them? I think when you're in the changing room, yes. You know, just before you walk out, oh my God, I don't know, you, you've had way more fights than me, but if you ever thought, I do not want to do this, why have I ever done this? Like, do you start questioning yourself? 
sometimes. <laughs> and the nerves are there, yeah, like yeah. in the changing room. But I think sometimes. as soon as you you walk in, you know, the crowd is there. Like, and when that bell goes off, this person's trying to kill you. They're yeah. trying to knock you out. They're not trying to be nice to you. You know, I think switch and you, you turn into survival mode. So I think up until when you step into that ring and the bell goes, of course, you're going to be feeling it. Or maybe you have some false confidence. And when the bell goes, you think, actually, I've bitten off more than I can chew here. So it could go either way. How serious is Deja taking this fight? That's the question as well. Well, in the gym with him a couple of weeks ago, I asked him that very same question. And I asked him that because, not, not because I wanted to sort of make him feel that that question needed to be answered, but he brought it up. He said, well, I thought Jake Paul didn't really take it seriously. Then I thought Vinny didn't really take it seriously. Yeah. Uh, then I thought Floyd Mayweather. Then I thought, you know, and, I didn't, and he kept saying, I just didn't take that fight too seriously. I didn't quite. So I, the, the natural question is, have you taken this one seriously? Yeah. And the reason I think he has, I mean, obviously he's going to say that he has, but the reason that I, I genuinely believe it is look at his demeanor in interviews. Look at his social media presence. There's, there's not a lot to go on. Pe people are criticizing him for it. Oh, you're not promoting, you're not selling. I genuinely believe that's because he's locked in. Yeah. So 100%. why didn't he say Mayweather fight seriously then? I don't get it. Why would you not take that serious, but take this fight seriously? The serious? greatest of respect to, to Deji. I love Deji. He's a great guy. We, we get on really well. Yeah. If you're stepping in the ring against Floyd Mayweather, you're not expected to win. You're going yeah. there as an overall experience. It's not going to count on your record. If you win, you're not going to get the rematch. It's yeah. not, do you know what I mean? Just it's go an and experience it. Ex exactly. Learn from the occasion. You know, I don't think he was expecting Floyd to stick it on him in the way that he did. Yeah. But at the same time, make no mistake, he landed back, gave him the, gave him the black eye, etc. Yeah. And it wasn't until the last minute that the gloves got changed to 10 ounce, right? Exactly. Literally hours before the fight. So you, if you're preparing for it to be like a glorified spar and bigger gloves, mm. it's not until that moment, you know, hours before the fight, it gets changed that you're like, maybe I should have taken it more seriously. If but you, I think Mayweather also in these exhibitions never tries and knocks out his opponents anyway. Yeah. So maybe, you know, you have less of a threat going into that. Like it's more of an experience, as you said. But, but don't you think people on social media, when they do go quite for a fight, they're more afraid and more scared? than someone screaming loud. I do think, if I know my opponent's gone quiet, he's not, he's, not, he's not ready for the fight, he's scared. He doesn't want to say anything what's going to backtrack with him later on. It's maybe a bit different with the crossover scene. Do, do, do you know, like